Ah yeah. So to start off with, I'm just going to take the back of my photo frame and I'm just going to measure out my gutter wire with the back of it. Just making sure it's flush with the sides, I'm just going to fold it over and cut it, leaving a little give. And I'm just going to do that again to cover the entire back. And yeah, it'll overlap a little bit, but you won't see this long your string is attached. And then I'm just going to take the back away and glue it to my frame. Okay, so here's where I lost some footage. I'm really sorry, but I'm still gonna do this. So all I've done is I've glued my netting to the back of my frame and I've added some string to hang it with. So to do this, I've just tied the string from one corner to the opposite corner and created a little loop by tying them together at the top. And I've obviously started weaving my thread through as well and I've pleated it to avoid it from tangling which is a definite must as this will definitely tangle. So to weave at the, my thread I've just put the thread through and tied it. I've zoomed in a little bit so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing here. So I'm just popping my thread through at an angle and I'm just bringing the two ends together and tying them at close to the netting. And like I said I'm just doing this in a diagonal movement as that's probably the easiest way to do it without using too much thread. So that's my frame full now and it took me about 16 balls of string but they do get you do get them a three for a pound in the pound shop so it's not too bad I guess. And now I'm just reinforcing my netting to my frame by wrapping some string around it. My frame was starting to come away slightly with the glue so just to give it that little bit extra support I'm just going to weave my thread through and it will kind of start to come away from itself but if you just twist it it will be fine. It's completely wrapped around my frame I'm just going to tie off both ends to the string that I've already woven through and I'm just going to tie it underneath the knot that I've already created to give it that extra piece of support. I've now wrapped my string around all four edges of my frame to give it that extra piece of support so it's not coming away as much now. You will be able to see this if your frame isn't a white colour but you can obviously cover it up with tinsel, lights, beads, anything you want. Personally I'm fine with it since it is kind of camouflaging into my frame. So I've now just untied my little loop so that I can tuck it away and you can see better now what I've done here. I've just tied one corner to the other and then I would pull it down to create my loop. So now I'm just going to tuck those out of the way and attach my backing with my hot glue gun and yeah that's about it. So like I said I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put a generous amount of glue in each corner and then just pop my back back on and press it down. And then I'm just going to take the hot glue gun again and I'm just going to go around the edges to give it that extra piece of support. My backing is firmly in place. I'm just going to take my hanging strings again and I'm just going to retie them into a loop at the top so that I can hang my frame up. Like that. And then I'm just going to take one of my little hooks and attach it to above my door and then hang it. So now I'm just going to take my bobbles and I'm just going to cut off the piece that you would normally hang it with and then I'm just going to start weaving my bobbles through my string. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see this but it's kind of awkward for me so laugh at my funny faces if you want. So I'm just tying it on in a double knot and then I'll cut away the excess. Check the concentration. A peek of how it's looking so far. Underneath. And all around. And obviously I've still got quite a lot to do. This did take me longer than I expected it to take me so it will take... It took me a few days so... There is quite a lot of time involved in this. One side complete and three more to go. And this is 
the kind of look that I'm going for. Obviously you can do this any way you want, but I wanted different size bobbles. How it looks when I'm done. And I hope you guys like it. I think it's awesome. I have no idea where or how I'm going to hang it from my ceiling, but I love the finished look and I hope you guys do too. And I hope you give it a go and let me see on Instagram and let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!